Aidan O'Shea goes to midfield along with Hugh McFadden. And it is Donegal in the goal strip playing into the goal away to our left here. Chance for them to launch the opening attack and get their first score. Carol Lacey throwing it back here. Eventually hit by Oron McNeilish and put over the bar. 20 seconds on the clock gone. Very positive start by Donegal. Damon Doherty probably will operate around the half-back line for Donegal. Breaking forward here, Martin McElhenney. Played very well against Tyrone. And he's made a very positive start here. Two in a row. Fired it brilliantly over the bar. It's a very good ball. Now let's see if there's an end product. Barry Moran. Running into trouble immediately, McElhenney blocking off his route to goal, still managed to get his kick in, and still managed to get a very good point. First of the day for Barry Moran, did his first point in this year's Alliance League. Team's level, two points apiece. And that was uh, poorly done by McElhenney to the back of Neil McGee, he wasn't anticipating. And now the counter-attack here involves Danny Kirby. That's a good ball, across here to Kevin McLaughlin, can finish it off here, and does so. Really good uh, counter-attack by Mayo, terrific ball to Kevin McLaughlin, beautifully taken by McElhenney. Can be a very effective midfield player, playing on the middle or up on the 40. Frank McGlynn, forward again, held on to here, Martin Riley, back in again, oh, what a bullet, Paddy McBrearty. 90 minutes gone, opening goal of the game. Several players involved. Great pace. 1 2 to four points. Donegal lead. <laughs> McNeilish. David O'Connor unable to get anywhere near him. McNeilish on that right. And that's another beauty. Two for him. The uh, Donegal followers here have certainly enjoyed the journey down on a lovely, pleasant, summery kind of day. And McNeilish warming their hearts with that kick. Eamon McGee. Next challenge might come in from Kevin McLaughlin. Hoping to keep him out there. And robbing him of it. The crowd roaring their approval here. Colin Boyle. Nicely on. Dashing forward here once again is... Dermot O'Connor and O'Connor is fouled all starting with a good piece of defensive work by Kevin McLaughlin now how is it going to finish up here played out by Seamus O'Shea to Donald Vaughan and over the bar Donald Vaughan will take the credit but you could directly link that with the Kevin McLaughlin steal Lee Keegan Setting it up initially, now Seamus O'Shea, riding the tackle, Keegan, finally kicked by Barry Moran, and Barry Moran kicks it over the bar, third point for him. He's done really well in midfield, able to join the attack there as he did in that last movement, several players involved, and Moran the one who completed it. Barry Moran having a very good afternoon. Dermot O'Connor hasn't scored so far, but he's put that right. And he's done so in the 44th minute. And he's given Mayo the lead here by nine points to 1-5. Leaving Paddy McBrearty of one-on-one with Kevin Kane if the ball goes in quickly. Neil McGee hasn't appreciated that yet. They hold and they wait. McGlynn now looks up and Mayo been able to get bodies back. Colin McFadden, meanwhile, has possession and pops it over the bar. Teams level again. Nine points for Mayo, 1-6 for Danny Gold. Colin McFadden's first point of this match. Swift counter-attack. Cohen set it up. The other substitute in the second half, Vicky Conroy, carries it on. And the two subs combine. Great point by... Mickey Conroy, to six point of this year's Alliance campaign, his first of the afternoon. 
and out as far as Colin McFadden, quickly dished off to McGlynn. Clare in support, here's Mark McHugh. Up it comes here once again to Paddy McBrearty, just outside the D, kicking it with the left and swinging it over the bar. And the teams are level. Mayo 11, Donegal 1-8. Into Neil McGee. Duddy Gall are still somehow alive in this match. Eamon McGee. They've only got a few seconds. We're after playing the added time. In fact, we're deep into the next minute. Back it comes, Neil McGee. Somebody's got to try and kick it over the bar. Who's eventually going to take on the responsibility? It's number 23, Stephen Griffin. And he's put it over. He's leveled the match. And that is the final piece of action. A levelling score by Stephen Griffin, deep into injury time. And now it's going to depend on results elsewhere as to who makes it to the semi-final. It finishes at Elvery's Mackell Park. Mayo 12 points, Donegal 1-9. Yeah, we'd be disappointed with the result, you know, especially in the second half. I thought we had uh, the majority share of possession. Uh, we had, I think, it was nine, nine or eleven wides in that second half. And you know, any day you do that, you're, you're going to be, you're going to, um, you're going to lose out, you know. You had a second possible goal disallowed by the referee. Did you think it was a goal? Ah, well, look, from where we were standing, I thought it was, you know. But look, the referees have a split second to make the decision. But you know, Paddock finished it well, but it wasn't to be. So we had to dig in again and try to grind out the result. Yeah, it may have ended all square in Castle Bar, but uh, that result decisive in terms of the semi-finals. Donegal go through, Mayo miss out. Tomás, the thing about it is with Donegal, they made the semi-finals, and uh, and there's a new era, of course, in Donegal, new management structure there. I, I, it seems to me they've they've looked to take a bit more out of this league campaign than they might have done in the last couple. Yeah, I suppose a lot of people say that that their panel isn't too strong in terms of their subs on the sideline and, and they don't have a deep panel that other teams like Kerry or, or Dublin have, Michael. But uh, Rory Gallagher has certainly taken the league very, very serious. They're putting out their strongest team every, every time they go out. Um, I suppose, look, they were missing Michael Murphy today. It is, it is, I suppose, good for them that they kind of play without him and know how to, to win. And, uh, Mikhail Park is always a very, very... One of the toughest places we ever visited yeah. was always Mikhail Park. Very, very hard to come over a result there. Uh, their long-range kicking today was very, very good. Um, I Look, Mayo are disappointed, but in reality, look, they're not into the semi-finals of the league, but I don't think the league will be enough for Mayo anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't think the people of Mayo or the team, the football team themselves, I think they'll be based on one thing uh, or, or judged on one thing only, and that's that's championship. Uh, interesting times for Donegal, but Mayo will be judged on, on championship. There's no doubt about that. Uh, Kieran, let's just take an overall view. Uh